I just want to do a quick video, you know what I'm saying? Hot Wag 100, got a hot sun camel, bro. You know, we on Bacardi. You know what I'm saying? These little drinks. I mean, I just want to try them out, see what they do. It's all right, you feel me? But look, this is just my opinion, right? My opinion don't take me too far in life. I hope y'all don't take too much pressure on what I'm telling y'all. But like how son Camel said, bro, if you 13 years old, 12 years old, bro, you easily manipulated. In U.S., uh, America, they say that basically you're not able to make decisions for yourself until you're 18 years old. So you're telling me, that at 13 years old, 12 years old, however old Hassan Kemmel was, when Africa Bambada was doing whatever he was doing, I don't I don't know. I'm not going to get into it, bro. It's just weird, right? But you, WAG 100, making all them statements saying that that man was basically enjoying it and like he wanted it, bro. Come on, bro. You need to back up off of that shit, bro. Like, you ain't no real man, bro. You don't know what's going on. That's a kid, bro. He's a kid, a child. You feel me? And you are influencing, like, other kids to be, like, standoffish. Like, let's say something happened to one of your kids at 12, 13 years old, and they don't want to tell you because, look, they feel like they should have known better. Man, they kids, bro. And you getting at him like, look, 12 years old, 13 years old, I was already doing this, smacking this, killing this, bro. Stop it, bro. Nobody trying to hear that BS, bro. You were a truck driver, bro. And I'm not in no way, shape, or form, bro, sticking up for hot sun camel. Not even a little bit, bro. Where is my smoke, man? Look, I'm not in no way sticking up for hot sun camel. Not even a little bit, bro. But what I'm telling you is, bro, you ain't got no leg to stand on in this fight. You don't know what it's like. You've never been molested. You've never been touched. You never had nobody doing nothing to you when you was at that age. End of the day, bro, I, like, really respected you. But I watch, like on Clubhouse, bro, you got all these yes men. Oh, whack, yeah, whack, you do, yeah, whack, you do this, whack, you do that, whack. Even when he wrong, they like, yeah, you right. Bro, stop playing with me, man. You are a corny, corny man. You know what I'm saying? You claim blood, bro. That You, you 50 years old with that on blood. Nobody trying to hear that BS, bro. Stop it. It's just like, all right, end of the day, bro, you are a cornball. You know what I'm saying? You are a Captain Cornball. <laughs> I mean, real shit, you a Captain Cornball. I said, Campbell, bro, keep doing what you're doing. I'm from California. I'm from the Bay. We don't do that gang banging. We don't do none of that blood. Cripping, none of that, man. We all about our cash flow, man. Ain't nobody tripping on nothing like that. And when he get at you like that, bro, just turn the other cheek and keep on moving. Don't even address that BS, bro. Like, you too sharp for that, man. Don't address that BS. It's like he trying to bait you in to get views. Like you said, you are the bigger media personality you're the bigger media personality stop falling for the bait bro you know what i'm saying end of the day i was locked up i know how it is to be you know what i'm saying locked up and not really having nobody on, on your side nobody having your back only person i had i could call was my mom and some little corny chick that i was dealing with at the time do not get these. They are horrible. But I know how it is, bro. I know what it's like. I've been in riots. You know what I'm saying? I've been jumped. I've been all of that, man. I son of Campbell, people look up to you, bro. I'm not saying I'm one of those people. But 
Keep your image clean for the people that look up to you. Don't do nothing for views, bro. You know what I mean? Like, like it's a lot of stuff I see you do for views. It's a lot of stuff I see, like, Black 100, bro, he got a, a, a duck tie. Like, he got everything tied up in L.A. Man, fuck L.A., bro. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, fuck L.A., bro. And fuck what he talking about. Be your own person. Keep being you, bro. You ain't got to go to L.A. to be big, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole nother whole part of the game in the Bay. Come rock with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. And what happens, never let that control your life. Never let one incident control your life. Control your life. Yourself. I hate to talk to you like this, bro, but you let him get to you, bro. You let him get under your skin. And who is he? I'm from the Bay. He nobody does. Like, he can scream all that power rule shit. That shit don't fly in the Bay. That shit does nothing in the Bay. Like, we real niggas out here, man. We real thoroughbred from the ground up grown men out here. <laughs> They tried to come out here with all that Crip and Blood shit. They got kicked in their ass and sent back to L.A. And they drugs took. That's a straight up fact. I was around at the time. 92, 93. Them L.A. cats tried to come out here. I mean, they had cheaper product than everybody else. But nobody fell in line with them. And the people that did in the hoods that did, they don't exist no more. So why would you let this man who is a nobody control your narrative? Keep spitting facts. Keep doing what you're doing. Charleston White really put out a whole lot of dirt on you, bro. He said he tried to have you come through and, and fuck with him on some, on some help the kids shit and said that you didn't help the kids. That's what you need to get in line about. Everything else, fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Rock with the real. Scratch out the fake. I ain't gonna never tell y'all to subscribe. I ain't gonna never tell y'all to hit the like button. You know what I mean? Fuck y'all if y'all don't want to. Nigga, it's real shit up with you, bro. It's real bay, bro. You know what I mean? Bay bridges, bay life. Keep it real. Keep kicking rocks on these squares. Peace. <laughs>